In a significant move aimed at bolstering the nation's healthcare infrastructure, the Nigerian Senate has passed a crucial bill for the establishment of a health infrastructure development agency. The Upper Chamber's decision marks a pivotal step towards enhancing the quality, accessibility and affordability of health care across the country. The bill was presented for consideration by Senator Osita Ngu, representing Enugu West. Senator Ngu passionately advocated for the bill, emphasizing its potential to elevate the health sector's infrastructure and development to new heights. I rise to lead the debate on the bill for an act to establish the Health Infrastructure Development Agency Bill. Mr. President, I thank you for the opportunity to lead the debate on this bill. The Health Infrastructure Development Agency Bill seeks to provide a comprehensive framework to guide the planning, financing, construction, maintenance, and regulation of healthcare infrastructure in Nigeria. It promotes the development and improvement of healthcare infrastructure so as to enhance healthcare access, quality, and delivery across the country. It also seeks to strengthen the healthcare system by focusing on the modernization of healthcare facility by leveraging public private partnerships to sustainable infrastructure development. His impassioned plea resonated with several other senators who voiced their support for the bill's passage, citing its crucial role in advancing the nation's health care agenda. I advise to support this bill uh, be read a uh, second time because of its vitality. Uh, Mr. President, you want to recall that um, we have had a problem grappling with um, healthcare infrastructures in this country. And um, as it is, our uh, health infrastructures are deteriorating by the day. And so I think it is an, an imperative need, therefore, that a bill for the establishment of this agency to regulate and enhance access to healthcare affordability is important. And bill. I want to commend the sponsor of this bill, Senator Sitangu, uh, for looking down well, because it is the eye that looks down well that can see the nose, uh, looking at the dilapidated nature uh, of our health infrastructure across the nation. And I believe that um, with the establishment of this agency, it's going to be saddled uh, with the responsibility of maintaining and ensuring purpose built uh, of our infrastructural uh, uh, health care infrastructural uh, across the country. Deputy Senate President Senator Barao Jibreen all expressed their backing for the bill, recognizing its significance and driving positive change in the health care landscape. Uh, put the question whether the bill should uh, go to the next stage, be read for the second time. Those in favor that this bill now be read the second time, please say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Thank you very much, Minority Whip, for I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, for bringing forward this bill uh, because health is life and there's a need for coordination um, to really coordinate what is happening in terms of uh, our healthcare infrastructure, a situation where you have haphazard construction of, of healthcare facilities without be, you know, proper coordination. I think it's not good. And we understand the money we spend every day for medical tourism to read the bill this second time. Clark. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the sad trend of high quest for white collar jobs with attendant unemployment rate underscores the need for a specialized university would focus on agriculture and entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship education is the process through which individuals acquire a broad set of competencies that can produce greater social and economic benefits to the individuals. It is a form of education that seeks to provide knowledge, skills, attitude, and motivation to students for entrepreneurial success in various facets of human endeavor. By equipping them with the ability to seek investment opportunities and maximize returns for those investments. 